guys, so I'm on the strand with Frida and we're here for day one of three for the Surge Antifa protests outside London Fashion Week. Now in this video I'm going to show you what I take in our zero waste baby bag because we go out and about a lot and we've done activism continually like since I was pregnant and we haven't stopped since Frida was born so I thought it'd be helpful to show you what we pack zero waste wise for a baby. So at a protest, ear defenders are a must because you might be able to hear there are lots of loud vegans behind us chanting. We're in Wembley because it's the Viva London Festival here and I'm going to give a talk this morning all about what is the SAVE movement. I'm going to take you guys inside our zero waste baby bag. Frida is in need of a change. So I've got this Bambino Mio bag and this stores all the clean nappies in. My preferred on the go nappy of choice is Bum Genius. I actually got these secondhand on eBay. And if you don't find that gross, then it's a really good way to buy nappies because they're much cheaper. They've been used and then you're not, you know, giving your money so that more nappies are being produced. Because these ones are actually fine, they're completely fine. And I have these liners that I put in. I got these from the Nappy Lady and I'll put the link below. And they just make it easier for you to like keep your nappies like not stained. And then I also have uh, another of these bags, the Bambino Mio. And then I put the dirty stuff in there. So that's a dirty nappy in there. I also put um, her like wet bibs because she's teething at the moment. So she's just got dribble everywhere. Wipe wise, at first I didn't really know what to do about wipes to make it zero waste. But then I realized the best way was to use reusable wipes and then wet them before I go out. So I put them in a stainless steel container. I had this at home already and that's why I'm using it. I didn't buy it especially for this. And then I dampened these wipes. I ordered them on Boobaloo. Again, I'll put the link in the description box below. They're made from bamboo. They're like a soft towel in. And I just literally wet them at home and then I scrunch them up and then pop them in here. I usually take about 10 on the go. And then as I'm changing hair, I have enough and then we can do like face wipes. And all of the dirty stuff goes in this wet bag I just showed you. So dirty nappies, dirty wipes, dirty bibs, everything goes in here. And I tend to take about eight nappies on the, on the go when we're like on a day out. When she was first born, I needed a lot more than that. But now that she's five and a half months, I tend to find we go through like six. I always pack more just because I don't want to run out. And then I also take muslins. We do have a changing mat that I forgot today, so I can't show you that right now. So we just put a muslin down and then change her on the muslin. The bag I use for nappy stuff is one of these. And I always thought these were kind of like annoying fashion bags that people have. And then I looked at one in a shop and I realized that it's actually really great as a nappy bag because it opens all the way, all the way around so you can open it up completely like a suitcase. So it's perfect for just like loading up nappy things, baby stuff, as you can see. At the moment, it's also got Andrew's laptop in because of the talk I just did. In the front, I have reusable bags, my spork from Life Without Plastic that you guys have seen before, and a toy for Frida. She really likes this for teething, actually. It's made of wood. Don't buy plastic toys. And reusable water bottle, standard. And this one fits really perfectly in the side of the bag, so meant to be.